so today I thought I would talk about cloth nappies again. This time I'm going to kind of go through a little bit about what we do, how often we wash, what different cloth nappies are out there, types, what we like and what we use, and just kind of give an introduction to it really because I know that I get a ton of questions on social media from people that are interested in trialing cloth with their babies or toddlers and they've never used it before, or people that are pregnant and are looking at maybe using cloth rather than disposable for their new baby. But yeah, basically, if you're here looking for tips and tricks and just kind of some kind of idea of where to start basically, where to start in the minefield that is cloth nappies because the options seem to be absolutely endless and I think when you're totally new to it, it can seem really daunting and overwhelming and more complicated than it needs to be. So I am here to kind of, yeah, just give you some ideas where to start because when we started out, I felt a little bit overwhelmed. I was looking online at different websites and the kind of options are so vast and I just had no idea what was right for our baby or what to buy or how many or anything so I'm going to go through that today. So to start with I thought I would give you a little introduction on some of the different types of nappy there are. Now I'll start by saying there is no hard and fast rule of what you need to buy um, because it all really at the end of the day comes down to personal preference do you prefer fitting nappies with Velcro, just like a disposable sort of thing, or adjustable poppers? Um, do you like microfiber inserts? Do you have a tumble dryer so you can use things that take longer to dry but are more absorbent, like bamboo and cotton? Um, there's a million questions. It's all about personal choice and fit, and that's it really at the end of the day. But various types that are out there, just to show you kind of the ones that we have. So, to start off, I will say we used cloth from day one with River. The idea between, there's two types of nappies, there's your kind of newborn size, designed for premature or very small newborns, and then after that point they go from newborn size to birth to potty. Birth to potty kind of covers the £10 range um, onwards to basically potty training age, you should be able to use the exact same nappies washed and washed and washed again from the £10 stage, or if you have a big baby, birth, to potty. So we did use newborn size on River first. Annoyingly, the ones that we used the most, I've just but, but he grew out of the quickest, the smallest ones, were by a brand called G Nappies. They are above me, up in the loft. So I can't show you those, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, just I'll put a link down for the G Nappies um, newborn kit because they were so good. They were teeny tiny, but they were really, really good in the early days. So one of the brands that we have some nappies of that does newborn nappies is Top Spots. They are a UK based brand. This is one of their newborn nappies called a Teeny Fit. Um, this one we um, were kindly given, pre-owned by um, Jack's sister, um, who used cloth for one of her bubs and didn't need these anymore. These ones are Velcro closure, they're one size, there's no poppers or different um, ways to adjust them, they are just little diddy tiny bot nappies. They come in all different colours, uh, all different patterns, and these are what you would call an all-in-one nappy, so there are no extra pieces, the whole nappy is sewn together. So this part is the absorbent part that absorbs all the wheeze, and yeah, you basically stuff it in through here, once you've washed it, and pull it out to wash, um, and yeah, you stuff it in like that, into a little pocket, the top bit flaps over to keep it in, like so, and then yeah, you pop it on baby, adjust it, velcro it up, Bob's your uncle, it's really easy, and they are great, as you can see, for teeny tiny bums. In comparison, this is a birth to potty nappy. Now it doesn't look that much bigger on the screen here, and that's because um, I've got it adjusted to River's current size. He weighs um, 16 pounds now at three and a half months old, and he started life at six and a half pounds. So these were perfect, um, and the G nappies were perfect up to about 10 pounds. These still, until a couple of weeks ago, just about fit him, um, but as he's got bigger and he's doing more bigger wheeze, um, they weren't that good, they didn't last very long before he outweed them. This is a teeny fit, um, this is an easy fit, this is kind of the same nappy but from birth to potty. Again, virtual closure, again top spots, 
This one is one of their Nessie Rhyme prints. It's faded a little. Again, this one we got secondhand. I bought this on one of the cloth nappy Facebook groups I frequent. And the difference between this one and this one, other than size, is the fact that you have these popper risers, as they are called. So these poppers allow you to make the nappy smaller by two different settings or bigger based on how big your child is really. Um, it's all adjustable and it's all really nice so you can get a good snug fit. So as you can see, when it's at its biggest size, it's actually quite significantly bigger than the teeny, teeny fit. Um, but like I said, we still have it on the smallest size um, for River, even though he's a big chunky beast. Um, so I'm just going to pop that back down so I can show you. But yeah, we've bought lots of nappy na nappies. We bought lots of nappies secondhand because even better for the environment to be able to give them even more use, not have anything new made, let alone disposable. Um, and also, they've they've got so much life in them and so many wears in them. Like it makes sense to buy secondhand and just keep on using them. Plus, it's cheaper, which is nice on the old wallet because it is expensive to buy invest in cloth nappies from brand new. So bulking up your stash, giving yourself like more numbers with some secondhand ones is a really good idea. We've got loads of secondhand nappies and they're fantastic. Yeah, it's a nice way to try out different styles that you might have seen people talking about or recommending and you're just not sure whether that'll fit your baby or your lifestyle or what you want really. So if you buy them secondhand, it's not a lot wasted if you decide you don't like them and you can also sell them on again. Um, we've done that with a couple that we haven't got on with. So it's a win-win situation really. Other than the popper rise, these ones also um, have the pull out section. So again, this is an all in one, but the difference with these is that they have a popper, popper honorable, I don't even know why they still have baby brain, you'll have to forgive me, additional booster. It's called a booster when you add more to it. So yeah, these ones pop her on and then that just gives you, if you need it, a little bit more absorbency. Good for at night time as well if you want, obviously, if they're going to be wearing it for longer periods than in the day whilst they sleep, you're going to want more absorbency whilst they wee and poop in the night times. You can add more to this with boosters, um, so you can really stuff it up if you want to depending on how long they sleep for and how heavy or wetter they are. I'll show you the boosters in a min. So yes, that is a Top Spots easy fit. They are easy to fit. As well as that, on the same kind of vein with the Top Spots brand, again, this one is one of ours that's second hand. I really like this one. It's like a goose and egg design. I quite like the bright yellow. It's so on me. I'm so into like monochromes when it comes to myself. And then when it comes to nappies, I'm like, ah, all the patterns and all the colors, they're cool. Rainbow nappies. But yeah, same as before, it has adjustable poppers for the rise on the front, it's a Bertha potty, it's a velcro closure again with top spots, but this one is called a wrap nappy, so this one consists of two parts, you have the waterproof wrap, basically this one has the waterproof wrap part, but it's all sewn together, so this is called the pull, don't know what pull stands for, I should probably look it up, but I won't. But this is basically the waterproof membrane. It's the same in this one, but it comes apart. These are the boosters, again, kind of like the ones in that one, but they come apart. The idea being, so yes, boosters for your wheeze and poos, wrap to go around the outside. Loads of people prefer these to the all-in-ones because, in theory, when baby is ready for a new nappy and you've got one of these on, unless they've done an explosive poo, you could just take these out, the soiled, wet boosters, and pop her in a new set of boosters and then use the wrap again, rather than having to use a complete new all-in-one nappy. I guess it's good if you're out and about because you can carry fewer of these around, they're smaller and more lightweight in your changing bag, and then, yeah, just, just change the boosters. For us, I think maybe it'll change as River gets older, but at the moment, he's still in this kind of breastfed only, milky newborn poop stage, which is basically just like slop. <laughs> so every single time we change him, whether he's got one of these or an all-in-one, we have to change the whole lot because it tends to get on the wrap. When he is weaned, not looking forward to the weaning poos, we, I guess, are going to be dealing with more person-like turds in there, and if that is the case, then yeah, I guess they're more contained, and we can just whip that out, put a new one in, and we might start to prefer these more, um, but we don't have that many of these because we prefer, currently, the all-in-ones. So, that's one way of using it with those little pop-in boosters. Another way is with these. 
So this is also by Totspots, but there is a brand called Little Lamb that everybody raves about, we haven't tried yet, that basically make these, what looks like a nappy, complete, and you can add boosters into as well, kind of all cottony or bamboo or hemp, they come in all different, you know, fabrics, absorbent nappy inner. So this has absolutely no waterproofness, so don't buy one of these, stick your baby in it and then expect to wake up in the morning or or put clothes back on it, him or her, and um, have nice dry clothes because this just basically is like a super soaker for all the um, wees. But basically you can put this on, fasten it up like you did the all-in-ones, boost it as much as you need, and then you use your waterproof cover and you pop that over the top and you pop baby in it. So this is quite a bulky option because you've got this really big padded nappy with boosters in it as well and then a wrap over the top but it's really good for night times because if they're sleeping through the night, lucky you, River is not, then yeah obviously they need something super absorbent so those are good. This we got new, we bought a trial kit um, from Totspots during Real Nappy Week, they had some deals on and we got kind of like a starter kit of each one of their different nappy types and um, for a really reduced price on there. That was part of it, so that one's not second hand. Moving on to other brands, we have a buttload of um, Bambino Mayo nappies. Now, these are again all in one. Again, they're Velcro. We just really, really get on with these better than the top spots. We, we have a load of these. I'll show you the nappy stash in a bit. It doesn't even have them all in because we have loads in the wash as well. But yeah, this is our current favourite. It's really, really quick drying. We don't have a tumble dryer and so something that dries relatively quickly is good for us, obviously. It's got popper rises again, which are adjustable. It's about the potty. And the difference, the difference with this one, the thing that we like about Bambino Mayo over the top spots is that this whole, well, not only is it plants and cats, which is a winner in my books anyway. The basic, the system of putting them together and taking them apart is really, really nice. So when you go to wash your soiled nappies, you basically want to, you don't want to have your Velcro, if you have Velcro, flapping around because it will catch on other nappies and snag them and things like that. So all of the types of these have like fold over or tuck in areas where you can kind of stop the Velcro from being exposed in the wash. So you fold those over before you throw it into the nappy bin. And then you also need to take out the absorbent part so that it all gets washed properly. And Bambino Mayos have this really handy little tab here. So you basically hold the nappy at the bottom over the nappy bucket and just pull this tab. And there's another one further down. You just pull that, your soiled part flaps out and then you chuck it like that into your nappy basket. And then, when they're washed and you're going to put them back together, with the top spots ones, you kind of need to like, fold it a little bit and like shuffle it around inside as you get it to the top and then sort of flatten it out a little bit, blah, 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 and spend a little time, bit of time doing that to get it just right. With these, this is like a genius kind of oven glove idea that I really like. <laughs> you just put your hand in the little oven glove, slip it all the way down. Because your hand's in it, in that little pouch, you just can do it super neat and not ruffled up in any way and super quickly every single time. So yeah, I don't know, I just really like that. These are the ones that we have um, bought extra of to leave at my parents' house um, and to have in the car for any kind of emergencies because anyone that isn't well versed in cloth nappies, it's really easy to disassemble and put back together and stuff. So um, we really like those, they're very easy. These are called the Mayo Solos, Mio Solos, Bambino Mio, Bambino Mayo. They are an all-in-one, they're quick drying, um, they're great. The only thing about these that I've heard, which we haven't had any problems with yet, is that they're not hugely absorbent. So I don't know, where, well, so when you're sleeping through the night, we wouldn't put him in one of these because I... I'm almost certain he would very quickly leak through it. But for the day, for out and about, these are so good for us. They fit into the changing bag really easily. They're not too bulky. They're quick to put on. And we really like them. So that's those. And then another brand that we super love is Babber and Boo. Babber and Boo is another British brand. They're really lovely. They do pocket nappies. So that's totally different to the wrap and booster slash wrap and super paddy nappy types. These ones are two-part nappies. So 
Similar to the all-in-ones in that they're really easy, this is one of our newborn ones. The good thing about the Babra and Boo newborn ones is that they do have adjustable risers. So you can basically get a lot more wear out of these ones um, than you can. <laughs> these ones that I showed you. They fit him from birth, which is great, but now at 16 pounds, we're still using them. They're a little bit on the smaller side now, so we, I don't think we're gonna get much more wear out of these, which makes me sad because I love them. We've got some amazing prints that I can't get in the bigger sizes. They seem to be sold out. But yeah, these are really, really good because, Jack loves these ones, because being two-parter um, and being made of fleece and bamboo, they dry really nice and quickly. Um, so Jack really likes these ones because you pop them out and they dry within a couple of hours. Again, these ones are Velcro, they've got little wash tabs to stop them from mangling up with everything in the wash. But the main difference with a pocket nappy is that you have your waterproof shell and you have the little pouch just like you do with the all-in-ones, but everything comes out of that pouch. So you can basically stuff in here whatever you want. You can either use, you know, pre-folds, just muslin for absorbency. You can use boosters like these, like I've talked about. This is the Babber and Boo booster. These are the new ones. It's made of bamboo and organic cotton. The older style were microfiber. I prefer these newer ones. Uh, but basically with every nappy you buy from Babber and Boo, you get two of these inserts. So again, you can adjust the absorbency to add a couple in if you need to for more or just use one. Um, we've currently been using it with one and it works quite nicely. And what that means is these take longer to dry than these. And so we've got more inserts than we have wraps, which is good because basically once this is dry, we can just stick another insert in and yeah, they don't, they're very good. They're good, they're quick drying, they're very useful. And so that's the newborn one. And then this is one of the Baba and Boo birth potties. So this is the only um, brand that we have that use poppers. Everything else we have is Velcro, but poppers are just a, another popular way of, I don't know, fastening cloth nappies. They're really easy. Poppers, again, lots of poppers like this give you the option to adjust it onto various leg rises and waist rises. You don't have to make it even on both sides, so you can kind of adjust it quite intricately to the size your baby is. And just like those other ones, these are a pocket nappy. So they have their inner, and then they have their microfiber or bamboo inserts that you kind of stuff in, dependent on what you need. Yeah, we really, really like Babber and Boo. They're nice quality, they're quick drying, so they're kind of up there with our Bambino Mayos as a like neck and neck faves. The Bambino Mayos just have the advantage over quick quick stuffing and easy disassembly, but realistically these are really, really practical because, like I said about a thousand times, the shell, the outer dries a lot quicker than any of the others, so it means that you can whip them off the line and use them again very quickly. So that's the kind of nappy different styles we have. They all have different pros and cons. Those are the ones that we like and that we've been buying. This one as well is a second hand, I should point out. And the newborn was brand new. And we've got some more of the new style of Baba and Boo's birth to property, birth to property nappies on their way to us because I couldn't resist buying some more. So talking about boosters, with all of those nappies and with all cloth nappies really, you can kind of boost the absorbency and work with a combination that works best for you. So there's various types of boosters. This one is um, a Baba and Boo one again. This is a charcoal booster. So this one has charcoal inside the middle of it and is supposed to be super more absorbent. Um, really good at night times charcoal boosters. They're bigger and they suck up more wee. Um, so you would use this in combination with however many other inserts you want. This one, we've got we've got loads. When you buy secondhand nappies as well, people often chuck in extra boosters that they've been using um, with their nappies and they find works. These ones are cotton. This is a slightly thinner one. When you have a boy or a girl, you can kind of fold things differently with your boosters and with your, your inserts. Lots of people like to, with a boy, because all the wee is at the front of the nappy, wrap boosters like this, so you've got kind of like an extra super absorbent bit at the top to catch all the wee in the front and make it last longer. And with girls, often people pop it or pop the boosters underneath. Um, 
So yeah, you just it, it's really a, just a big learning curve and just about kind of working out what works best with you and your baby and kind of adapting it as your baby grows. And it's, it's really easy, it's just a case of like trial and error basically. Is that sucking up as much water as I want it to? Is it leaking? Is it drying quick enough? You know, if you have a tumble dry, you don't really have an issue with that, but if you don't, then you, we tend to prefer the ones that dry more quickly, obviously, because we don't have a tumble dry, as I said a thousand times. And we also have these boosters, which we were given, that are homemade. And they're actually really good. So they're like multiple layers of like, I think it's like t toweling, like a couple of layers of like cotton sort of toweling. And then it's got like a fleecy top layer. The good thing about fleece in a nappy is that it wicks the wee away from baby's bot. And um, which is what you want really, because you want the absorbency to suck up everything on the boosters, but you don't really want all of that wee that's been sucked up sitting against baby's bottom because obviously then it's going to give them nappy rash and we don't want that because acidy wee on your bum is not very nice or comfortable and uh, yeah so fleece wicks that away really nicely. So with all of your cloth nappies you're probably going to want to use a liner in there when River has more solid poos. I think we're going to invest in some more of these Impsy Vimpsy liners because they are really good. Currently, whilst he's still in the kind of newborn poop phase, we use these. These are, it's a roll of disposable cloth nappy liners. So these are made from bamboo fibre, they're super thin. If it's just a wee wee nappy that you change, you can actually put these in a little zippable bag into the washing machine and get five, six, seven washes and uses out of these as well. So they're not necessarily a one use and throw away jobby. But yeah, you basically just rip one off like that. And same as your other liners, you just pop it in like this, um, fold it to size if you need to, and pop your nappy on babe. Yeah, so like I said, because the poos are very much kind of liquidy at the moment and not very solid and a little bit difficult to deal with and I don't necessarily want to put entire poos into my washing machine, we, we do currently use these. When they were in the newborn nappies, we kind of cut them into three because we didn't need a whole huge one like this. Um, but these are completely biodegradable and so it's not like there's no plastics or anything in these either. But like I said, once River's at the solid poop stage, Looking forward to that day. We will swap over away from disposable liners, even though they're biodegradable, to the kind of nice fleecy or um, other washable, 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 washable ones like the nappies, because it makes sense. That's the types of nappies and the inserts, etc. Do Googling um, in terms of kind of what's available in your area, um, which what groups are near you for pre-loved nappies, because like I said, they're amazing, they're a much cheaper price, they've got loads of wear still in them, and it's just nice to kind of get to know a community of other cloth nappy users, because sometimes, like I said, it can feel really, really overwhelming, and like you have no idea what you're doing. And often on the kind of buying and selling groups, you can just ask questions about um, the fit of nappies and the kind of booster combos that you might need, um, and people are so open with kind of advice and anecdotes about their experiences and things like that, so it's nice to feel like people are open to helping you and slowly you kind of get used to knowing what works for you and your baby. As well as cloth nappies, we do use cloth wipes. Um, these, all of our wipes, bar a few that I take in the changing bag, are by a brand called Cheeky Wipes. They're UK based as well. But all of these brands, I think, either have international stockists or there are similar international brands available or they ship internationally. And these are organic cotton um, and bamboo wipes. We have 50 of them, I think, and 50 wipes is more than enough. I have some in the changing bag and we have them all in little box on this changing table. But basically we have a tub of water with a couple of drops of essential oil also on his changing table and we just have the dry wipes, like I said, in the box by the side and we just dip and squeeze out each time we want to use it. When I'm out and about, I always have a bottle of water with me so I basically just put water from my bottle onto a wipe and wipe his bot and that's it. And then these just go into my dirty nappy bag um, that I seal up when I'm out and about, that I bring home with me to wash, or they just go into their own little sack in the nursery um, to wash when we're at home. And we put them in a little, they come in a little um, net wash pouch 
we leave them in the wash pouch to put in the washing machine because a it's easier to keep them all together and b it stops um, there being any issue of the kind of thin little liners um, or wipes kind of getting lost in the drum of the machine or anything like that. Um, it just kind of keeps everything safe and together. When you are totally new to nappies, both nappies, and you have no idea where to start at all, my advice, other than everything I said before, would be to basically try a few different different brands and different types and just work out what works well with you either by going on any of the cloth nappy websites and buying one of a few different designs or even better like I said popping on the pre-loved groups and seeing what people have for sale and trying out different designs so to buy nappies new the Bambino Myers are about 18 pounds each the tot spots are 15 pounds each new um the newborn ones are uh, 12 pounds. The top spots are 20 pounds each, between 18 and 20 pounds each, I believe. Um, I can, I'll put some links basically, I'll put some links for everything down um, below in the blurb so that you can very easily click through and have a look at what I'm talking about. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is that to buy them new, each nappy is between 15 and 20 pounds. And when you think how many you need in your stash, and I would say a minimum of 20, that looks like it works out at a lot of money. Obviously, I'm not even gonna go into, in this video, the kind of differences in cost over the birth to potty lifetime of a child using disposable nappies versus cloth nappies because it does work out so much cheaper, even if you buy new using cloth. But yeah, it is quite a big initial outlay. So buying second hand, I got five of these in this kind of, in the nursery rhyme prints for 12 pounds. That's particularly cheap, but generally you pay between three or eight or nine pounds, depending on condition and age and style for second hand nappies. So that is a significantly lower cost than buying them new. And like I said, they've got so much life in them. You know, hopefully I'll be able to use all of these nappies for River from from now until he's potty trained. And then hopefully when we're crazy enough to want a second baby, use them for babe number two as well, even if they're pre-loved, because like I said, they're, they're flipping brilliant and buying secondhand in my books is rad. So it's not gross, they're all washed. People strip wash them and make sure they're all super clean. So there's really nothing to worry about and just, yeah, do your bit, save the planet, save some money. Happy bottoms, happy babies. Try different ones out and then whichever ones you find you get on with with your baby, buy more of those. And like I said, if you then change because baby's shape has changed or you just decide you don't get on with a certain type, pop yourself on those nappy groups and sell all of your pre-loved nappies. And you can then use that money to buy more nappies. It's a win-win game, this promise and it's also a little bit addictive so I am sorry not sorry in advance if you like me suddenly become obsessed with buying more nappies all of the time whoops what can I say so I touched on how many you would need basically newborns poo and wee all of the time and you have to change their nappies a million times a day as your child gets bigger the amount of nappies you need to change per day decreases happy days so in theory you don't need quite as many nappies but we were finding with river in the early days we were changing about 12 nappies a day um so with the 20-ish nappies we had we were we were washing every day basically now we wash every three days a because he does less poops and wheeze and b because we have a bigger stash because i can't stop buying nappies so yeah it, it all depends on your kind of budget your um wash cycle that you're planning to kind of employ and how many nappies you want to buy so now we have about 50 <laughs> which sounds crazy, but that allows us to wash every three days and therefore we're not putting as many wash loads on and it makes our life a bit easier. But yeah, it, it, you need a minimum of about 20, I would say, and then you would be washing every day at first and then maybe every other day going forward from there. So I think that's it. I don't want to talk for too long and 
bore the pants off you and also confuse you with too much stuff because it isn't difficult like i said it does feel like a minefield it doesn't need to be it is literally a case of trial and error there is no rights and wrongs it's just what works for you and your baby so just make the leap it's not difficult it's not gross it's so much more comfortable for baby it's better for the environment it's better for your wallet and everything's good so yeah give it a go any questions stick them below, I will do my best to answer them or point you in the right direction of someone that can. And yeah, if you enjoyed this or found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up, please do share, subscribe if you want because there will be more stuff like this and there are plenty of other videos on the channel which you can kind of have a little look at and a little browse through if that's of interest. Have a lovely day everyone, I will be back soon with more videos. Take care, bye!